Good afternoon, everybody. Hope you guys are doing well so far today. Enjoying your Sunday. Seahawks had a practice today. It was not open, so we didn't get as much information as we usually get from these training camp sessions. But we did get some information, mostly concerning some injuries. And most of it's good news, too. So let's go through it here. Let's get everyone caught up, got up to speed First, the big one right here, Tariq Woolen passed his physical. He is off the PUP list. He did some walkthrough stuff today. He is back. He's not all the way back. He didn't do everything today. He didn't participate in some of the team drill stuff, but he was on the field, and he is now off the PUP list. That's the big thing. Uh, Kondota fills this in a little bit more over here. They're going to take it easy with him for a week or so, but he can do all the walkthrough work being off the PUP. So Woolen is back. He'll probably miss this next preseason game, but there are two more after that he can probably participate in some. Maybe he only participates in the last one, but I wouldn't really worry too much about it either way. He's This is his second year. He's got some NFL experience, so I'm not too worried about that. So the PUP list, if you look at the list that we had going into camp, the only guys who are still there would be uh, Brooks, Adams, uh, Faolu, Monet, and I think the other guys are off now because Fant's off and now Tariq is off. Uh, still got some injury concerns, but in terms of the initial, initial uh, excuse me, PUP list, we're looking a lot better now. So great news here, Tariq Woolen is back. And we also know that Tyler Lockett was back. And Dota tweets here, Lockett had a helmet on during the practice today, so he was participating so whatever it was that held him out of the mock game is minor, which I think most people expected. So lock it, good to go. So good news there. I don't think anybody was really concerned, but you want to see this regardless. So that brings us to the topic of Kenny McIntosh, who's the other injured guy that some people are thinking about right now. And as you can see in this very same tweet, Kendota mentions that he was not at practice today. But Kendota did offer this up from Pete. McIntosh may only be out a couple weeks. So you got to dissect this wording a little bit here. First of all, may be out a couple weeks kind of implies that he is definitely going to be out at least a couple weeks. And it also implies that it could be a little bit more. So that may cost Kenny McIntosh the whole preseason, which, hey, that's a, that's a bit of a bummer. That's a bit of a disappointment for sure, I think, because McIntosh is a rookie. He needs this preseason time, and he was a guy who had a very good chance to be a big part of the team in the preseason because of the injuries we have at running back. So you get Zach Charbonnet back, and then McIntosh quickly jumps onto the injured list where he was. So that's not great news here. It also implies, by the way, that the injury could be a good, decent amount more serious. If you take a look at the way it's worded, may only be out a couple weeks. That very, very easily could imply that he could be that he could he could miss months. And obviously, if we are healthy at the running back position, McIntosh doesn't really have a whole lot that he's going to do. McIntosh doesn't really have a huge role on this team if we have K-9 and Charbonnet and DJ Dallas out there. But there was going to be something for him, I believe, even if it was just special teams. So this is unfortunate. If for no other reason than those preseason reps probably would have helped him. But... You know, running backs, they can ramp up a little bit quicker than some of these other positions. So maybe maybe he'll be okay. But uh, yeah, this sounds to me like he's not going to be participating in the preseason this year, which which that hurts. That's uh, not what we needed. Uh, Carroll also offered up this on the injury front. Draymond Jones hurt his toe late in practice. Did not offer up any specifics about how bad it is and what he might miss now. Uh, Jones went down and got helped off the field late in practice. He walked off the field following practice under his own power, but not great news here. I mean, I, don't be fooled by the fact that the language is a toe injury. Just because it's a toe doesn't mean it's not a big deal. It can be a big deal. So we're going to get updates on this in the next couple of days, hopefully, and hopefully the updates we get, get are good because Draymond Jones has looked good in camp so far, according to everything that I've seen. And he's a very important part of this team being improved on defense this year. So this is definitely concerning, but uh, 
You look around the NFL right now. I'm going to I want to make this very clear. You look around the NFL right now. There are injuries everywhere, and injuries like this are relatively commonplace. So understand that this is just part of the process. You just hope that you're one of the teams that gets hit with the injuries that are minor and players can come back from. Like you you're going to get some guys who get dinged up. But you hope it's not the Denver Broncos situation where they've already lost a couple players for the whole season. You hope it's more like the Charbonnet and K-9 situations where those guys look like they're going to be ready to go very quickly after the initial injury. But uh, Draymond would be a big deal, and I'm not going to pretend otherwise. So hopefully he's okay. We also got this about Andrew Whitaker, who's the XFL cornerback who's trying to make the Seahawks. He tore his patellar tendon in the mock game needs surgery, going to miss the whole season. So he was unlikely to make the roster anyway, of course, don't get me wrong, but uh, he is now going to miss the whole season. Okay, um, the one thing that I was able to uh, get from this training camp session that wasn't purely related to injuries was this from Carroll. I don't think this is going to surprise anybody, Evan Brown is the starting center as of right now. Evan Brown is the starting center. This is the one thing that I was able to find from this particular training camp session that wasn't injury related. Not that this should surprise anybody. Evan Brown's the veteran. Evan Brown's the guy we signed, the guy we gave money to. Oluwatimi is a rookie. I know he's different than a typical rookie because of the experience level. But um, Evan... Evan Brown is the uh, club leader, club, what do they call it, clubhouse leader to be the starting center, and Carroll backs that up. So uh, that's really about it in terms of stuff I was able to get from this uh, training camp session. Not a heck of a lot outside of the injury updates. Fortunately, some of it is good news. And um, this isn't a concrete update, but just to speak briefly talk about Brooks. From what I'm understanding... He must have recovered much faster than people expected because with the work he's doing on the field physically in terms of being able to move around and run around, seems like he's close. So Brooks is kind of a polarizing player on this team anyway. I know that I'm not a big fan of him. A lot of people are not big fans of him. Some people like him, but um, I do believe this team is better with him, even if it's only a little bit better. I do believe he's better than John Radigan. I do believe that he's better than BBK. So, at the end of the day, if Jordan Brooks can be healthy, that's better. I would rather have that than have him not be healthy and have to go get another linebacker and pay that linebacker money. So, could be some good news coming on Jordan Brooks, but we'll wait for official word before I commit to anything there. All right, that's really all I got. Uh, Let me know what you guys think down below. I will see you guys tomorrow. Go Hawks. Should be on Twitch later tonight. Hope to see you there. And, uh, yeah. Some uh, some good news, some bad news, which is typical of a typical training camp session, I guess.